In Matthew 13, Jesus tells seven parables about his kingdom. Each of these parables highlight the nature of Jesus' kingdom, what kind of king he is, and what kind of kingdom he rules. In this video, we will focus on the parable of the wheat and weeds. This parable is a second cousin to the parable of the sower, which focuses on the planting and growing of the seed, whereas the wheat and weeds focuses on the harvesting of the seed. It says, He presented another parable to them. The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a man who sowed good seed in his field. But while people were sleeping, his enemy came, sowed weeds among the wheat, and left. When the plant sprouted and produced grain, then the weeds also appeared. The landowner's servants came to him and said, Master, didn't you sow good seed in your field? Then where did the weeds come from? An enemy did this, he told them. So do you want us to go and pull them up? The servants asked him. No, he said. When you pull up the weeds, you might also uproot the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. At harvest time, I'll tell the reapers, gather the weeds first and tie them in bundles to burn them, but collect the wheat in my barn. At first glance, the point of the parable seems pretty straightforward. Wheat is planted first, then enemies come behind and plant weeds, and at harvest time, both are plucked up, the weed, wheat for the barn and the weeds for the burn pile. But there's a little more going on here. The weeds Jesus speak of, speaks of are actually tares, a specific kind of weed, the darnel or rye grass that flourishes in the wheat fields. And here's the thing. It's difficult to tell tares from the wheat or rye until it heads. So tares look almost identical to wheat. Question. Why did Jesus choose tares? He could have chosen any kind of weed, like dandelions or thistles or just general weeds, but he didn't. Instead, he deliberately chose tares. Why? Jesus teaches that what looks like wheat may not actually be wheat. It may, in fact, be worthless weed. This coincides with what the Bible teaches elsewhere, that things are not always what they seem. This also explains why the landowner didn't allow his servants to gather the tares up. Not only would pulling the tares risk damaging the roots of the wheat, the harvesters may accidentally pull the wheat up itself by mistaking it for a tear. Like when we first planted our vegetable garden this year, I accidentally pulled up an onion plant thinking it was a weed. Needless to say, we haven't harvested any onions this year. But what does this have to do with Jesus' kingdom? Read his explanation. The one who sows the good seed is the son of man. The field is the world, and the good seed, these are the children of the kingdom. The weeds are the children of the evil one, and the enemy who sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age, the harvesters are angels. Therefore, just as the weeds are gathered and burned in the fire, so it will be at the end of the age. The Son of Man will send out his angels, and they will gather from his kingdom all who cause sin and those guilty of lawlessness. They will throw them into the blazing furnace, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then the righteous will shine like the sun in their Father's kingdom. Let anyone who has ears listen. The point of the parable is this. Jesus is king, using the prophetic title, Son of Man. But there is an opponent, a challenger, the devil, who is very active behind the scenes. His mission is to turn people like you and me away from Jesus' kingdom. And he does this in deceptive, sometimes even unnoticeable ways. As Jesus said in the parable of the sower, the evil one comes and snatches away the word that has been sown in his heart. But there's more. Jesus calls the wheat the sons of the kingdom and the weeds the sons of the evil one. These represent all people based on who they follow, either Jesus or Jesus' enemy. So in the present world, Jesus' kingdom and his enemy's kingdom will for a time exist side by side, but judgment time is coming. And when that day arrives, the enemy and all his followers will be exposed for who they really are. The picture of judgment here is fire, which doesn't sound like the Jesus many speak of today. But Jesus is clear. All those who cause sin and who reject Jesus' law will be thrown into fire where there is weeping and gnashing of teeth. However, the righteous will shine like the sun in their Father's kingdom. The parable of the wheat and weeds shows us there are only two kinds of people in the world. Those who accept Jesus as king and enter his gracious kingdom, and those who reject it and side with his enemy. Which one are you? Reach out to us on Facebook or our website. May God bless you today.